morning. Welcome all and thank you for the introduction. I'm Commander Christine Lay with the U.S. Public Health Service. And for today's presentation, I will be providing a high-level overview of the FDA product specific guidances or PhD program. This is the outline for my presentation. First is the PhD development processes, including how PhDs are prioritized, developed, and published. Second, I'll cover the public website for posted PhDs and upcoming new and revised PhDs for complex generic drugs products. Lastly, information regarding public requests and public comments or bioequivalent comments are taken into consideration for PhD development. The product specific guidance process or PhD process is a continuous cycle starting with PhD prioritization to develop or revise the PhDs, followed by PhD development, which include technical assessment, such as regulatory history, safety concerns, clinical pharmacology, or an optimal BE study design also considered. The next step is PhD published and posting. And finally, public comment. The Federal Register notice will identify a comment period typically 60 days after the notice is posted. FDA will review public comment on the PhD and decide whether the PhD can be finalized or need further revision and the cycle starts again. Prioritization to develop new PhD for non-complex new chemical entity approved on or after October 1st, 2017. For GDUFA commitment, the FDA publishes PhDs less than two years after its approval date. But for complex product that phone does not supply, rather the FDA tries to issue the PhD as soon as the scientific recommendations are available. New PhD are also developed based on public health priorities, drug availability, and accessibility, external interests, such as pre and meetings, uh, product development, or product submissions for complex products without the PhDs, and other scientific research outcomes are also considered. To revise the PhDs, the FDA goals is to ensure all PhDs accurately reflect the FDA current thinking. The factor analysis on the left here identify the need for a PhD revision. The FDA prioritizes and updates PhDs as necessary based on changes to the reference product, update identifying safety concerns, responses to the PE comments, and acknowledge acquired from ANDA assessment, pre-ANDA meetings, or control correspondences, etc. The three revision categories on the right here briefly describe the nature of the anticipated revision. A major revision for a PhD usually includes additional BE study or evidence recommended to support FDA approval. Example, adding additional FAB study or a sprinkle B study. For a minor revision, is any revision that is not considered major, such as to remove certain study to provide less burdensome alternative approaches to the currently recommended study, or to add information on newly approved strain of the RD. An editorial revision is a non-substantive change, which includes correcting typos or simply just correct the format or standardize the templates. The revision of a PhD may contain more than one category simultaneously. In addition, the FDA provides advance notice of upcoming new and revised PhDs for complex products which I will discuss in detail later. A 
as I mentioned previously, one of the sources when the FDA prioritizes a new PhD for development is a public request. The FDA receives approximately 100 to 150 requests annually. For example, RD is discontinued withdrawal, new trend approves recommendation on a B study or clinical study design for a product, a dosage form that doesn't have a PhDs. The, the FDA then reviews the request and take uh, appropriate action. Typically, over 50% of these requests are already projected into batches. Other requests are being taken into consideration during our PhD prioritization process. The public can submit requests via email to generic at fdahs.gov. So when are PhD published? New and revived PhDs are generally published quarterly in batches. A PhD may be published by itself, not together with the quarterly batch as a standalone. For example, to meet the Kedufa Gold Day or to coordinate with a relevant citizen petition. The published PhDs are announced in the Federal Register and make available to the public on the FDA website. This is an example of FDA PhD public webpage. In April 2019, the PhD webpage was enhanced as follows. It shows a total number of currently public PhD here. The PhD for specific products are arranged in alphabetical order by the active ingredients and user can browse by the first letter of the active ingredient or text search at least three characters of the active ingredient as well as the RD number or RS number. User can also see the most newly added and revised list of PhDs below the search box here, last posted in March 2021. In order to locate a PhD, user can filter search results or sort alphabetically by the column to set active ingredient, type of guidance, draft or final, route, dosage form, RD or RS number, or by the day recommended. User can easily export search results in Excel PDF format or CSV. From the sortable list, user can click on the hyperlink of the active ingredient to open the PhD page, as seen here on the right side. This is an example of a PhD page in PDF format. The layout and content format are tailored based on a specific drug product, which our colleagues will cover this in detail later in their presentation. On the PhD webpage, the second hyperlink here on the RLD or RS column will guide you to the Orange Book webpage. Keep in mind, the RLD or RS information for a specific PhD can only be found on the PhD webpage here, not on the PhD page or PDF file itself. Continuing from slide 10, RLD and RS information on the PhD webpage is used to identify a product related to a specific PhD, but not a substitution for the Orange Book. And the applicant should use the Orange Book for correct basis of under submission, which is the RLD. And the applicant must identify the RLD appropriately and submit evidence showing their proposed generic drug is bioequivalent to the RLD. From the PhD webpage, a PhD of the product with the same active ingredient, brow of administration, and dosage form can cover multiple RLDs. Examples for this is level thyroxine or tablet. 
current RS is a drug product selected by the FDA that under applicant must use in conducting an in vivo bioequivalent study. The information is correct on the PhD webpage when the PhD be posted. However, the RS may change later and under applicant should use the orange book to verify. For example, it is usually the RD, but may be different if the original RD is no longer marketed. Also, on April 2019, the FDA launches their new webpage titled Upcoming Product Specific Guidance for Complex Generic Drug Product Development. These are highlights of the webpage. It describes the FDA plans for issuing new and revised PhDs for complex products in the next 12 months. This advanced notice enhanced transparency and further supports the development and approval of safe and effective complex generic drug products. Also, to assist applicants in planning their development of complex generic drug products, which are typically more difficult to develop. The website is updated quarterly when a new PhD batch is posted. Detailed information can be found in the link below. Refer to slide number five, which show the revision categories. Under the plan revised PhD list, the FDA also provided a brief description and reason for each specific complex generic drug product. As I mentioned earlier in the presentation, the new and revised PhDs are published each quarter. The FDA issues a federal registration notice via docket FDA 2007-D0369 for public comments through a period of 60 days. Upon receipt of the comments, the FDA will review and decide if there is a need for PhD revision. The BE recommendations are revised is appropriate to ensure most current B information is available to the public. PhD withdrawal from the public webpage occurs when the recommendation in a PhD no longer reflects the FDA current thinking. The withdrawal list can be accessed via the link and showed here with last updated in March 2021. This concludes my presentation, and these are a few resources I have mentioned during my presentation regarding the PhD program. Thank you again for your time and attention.